I am the Elfman of Elfman. And thank you for joining us for this Valentine's Day presentation of the NBA. It's a matchup you're going to love right here on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan with Hall of Famer Doris Burke and Greg Anthony giving us the rundown from the sideline courtside, David Aldridge. D.A., take it away. Kevin, thank you. Brandon Ingram is an all-star talent, but then again, this is what he expected would happen. He said, confidence got me this far. Even with my build, I always had it. I think I have greatness in me, and I'm not going to stop until I'm the best. He certainly is well on his way to fulfilling that prophecy, Kevin. Tremendous, David. Thank you for that. And here's a look at some numbers for OG Ananobi. And guys, I think the best way to measure his performance these last 10 games is his effective field goal percentage, which has improved a sign that his game is in much better shape than it was not too long ago. Here are the five for the Raptors. Van Vliet and Ananobi are your wingmen. Kim Birch is out there with Pascal Siakam. And it's Dragic in at the point guard. And for the Pelicans, the talented front court pair is Ingram and Williamson. Josh Hart out there with Devontae Graham. And it's Hernan Gomez in at the five. And Doris, you look at these teams, both great on the glass. Well, they define their success and failure by what is the rebounding margin. It is huge tonight. This is going to be a tough physical battle. Graham kicks to Hart. Here's Williamson. Rebound by the Raptors. Van Vliet outside. Birch finds Van Vliet. Herman Gomez grabs the miss. On offense, here are the Pelicans. Their last game, a win against San Antonio, looking to carry that into this one. Yeah, they, they took advantage of some porous defense in that one. Really got the shots they wanted. Give them some credit. I'll tell you this. They caught an opponent on a very off night defensively, and you take advantage. Simple as that. Now oh, here's Van Vliet. He had a 21-point outing in their last game against Denver. It was never all about himself. He came away with a lot of assists in that game and just kind of kept everybody in the mix. And so it's the Raptors getting on the board first. Here's Williamson. Goes back up. And he gets it to go. Okay, using his vertical on the offensive glass, Williamson is adept at reading misses and pouncing on second chance opportunities. Now here's Dragic. He's been a reliable scorer for him as he's averaging up over 13 points a game. Now here's Van Vliet. Tight defense on him. Five to shoot. Three pointer. And that one is off. The Pelicans have gone just one for five from the field to start the quarter. As to Williamson. Over Siakam. And it's Williamson missing. This has not been a good period for this guy. Out of sync, not letting the game come to him. He's got to settle down and make shots. I get you against Graham. Outside, Dragic. On the pass to Birch. Chalk up two there. And tremendous fundamentals from Dragic. Running the pick and roll to perfection. Graham, the pass to Ingram. Spins. First quarter of basketball, just over two and a half minutes play. Well, that's a blown defensive coverage, but it doesn't matter. He cannot answer the bell. And throughout his career, Dragic has been a leader. It's a natural fit for him. Duncan Robinson called him the ultimate leader. Dragic, leader of his national team for a decade now. God just embraces the responsibility of it all. Well, you love the unselfishness of Fred Van Vliet. This guy is so good recognizing when his teammates are open. Williamson kicks to Hart. Williamson is screen on Van Vliet. 
here's Hart. He takes it in. Williamson. And the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. Not a guy you can stop by fouling. Williamson too focused and too powerful. That's his first When you look at Zion Williamson's impressive scoring output, what also strikes you, Greg, is his field goal percentage. Yeah, I mean, this guy hits at just around 60%. Safe to say Zion isn't wasting many looks. He just attacks inside where few men can slow him down. One shot. And free throw good from Williamson. And probably since LeBron entered the league, no player has had more fanfare than Zion Williamson. And Zion was unreal as a rookie, scoring 22 points in just 27 minutes per game. Now here's Van Vliet. Zion Williamson grabs the miss. Ingram kicks to Green. Passes it to Hart. Here's Williamson. And a bit of a battle here for the ball. The official signals a jump ball here. An outstanding defensive play to earn the mobile one block. And making a statement right away. Letting them know they won't get any easy ones when he's around. It'll be a jump ball. And here are the Raptors now. The Raptors have gone 50% from the field, hitting three of six since the opening tip. Van Vliet kicks to Ananobi. Got a piece of Raptors moving the ball around. Shot clock at six. Here's Trogic. It's up and it's off the mark. He's over one. Williamson dishes to Graham. Back to Williamson. Shoots over Trogic. And the shot is long. Listen, he can make that shot right there, but I do know they have other options they can go to. And the D getting out work there on the putback. Can't let that happen. You have got to put a body on somebody. We talk about it ad nauseum, but you've got to be disciplined with the box out. Williamson, the pass to Hart. Graham kicks to Hart. Pass to Williamson. Rebound by the Raptors. Fresh from a win against the Nuggets. Now, you don't like to count on points from your reserves, but they had some hot hands coming off the bench. When you get that kind of a complete effort, that's a game you're going to win far more often than not. And Greg, when it comes to load management, why do we see more of it now than when you play? Well, for me, the science of sport has evolved. And, and it's not just the athlete. It's the technology and the science that goes into making a better athlete. That's why you're seeing load management far more acceptable to the masses now, understanding that this is about the long game. Free throw drops for Goran Dragic. And Dragic came into the NBA with something on his resume that not many other rookies have. He has a ring from winning the Slovenian Pro League the year before he came to America. Catching up on the changes for New Orleans. Hayes, he's checked in for Hernan Gomez. Marshall comes in for Williamson. Sadoransky's checked in for Josh Hart. And Lewis subbed in for Devontae Green. You can tell when he steps to the line the kind of confidence he has in himself. It's written all over his body language. And Sadoransky kicks to Hayes. Ingram against Barnes. Hayes with the screen for Ingram. Takes the 13-footer. Another shot. That one's not going to go. And Toronto will come the other way. Just doing the job on the backboard. Rogic taking his time here. And a fast break now for the Pelicans. Got a piece of it. outside over Ingram here's Achua and he drops in the way up off the glass how about the perseverance there the extra effort on that offensive glass 
Ingram outside. Over Barnes. And it's Ingram missing. And it's Dragic bringing up the ball for the Toronto Raptors. Three-point lead. Ingram against Barnes. Can't hit from 12. Listen, simply put, he's got to finish that. It's not like the defender was right on top of him. There's the feed to Marshall. And Boucher sends it back. The ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Boucher. Garrett Temple has checked in for Brandon Ingram. Garrett Temple. Sadaransky finds Temple. And Lewis has it in the corner. Just five to shoot. That's good from Marshall on the assist by Lewis. And their post play has been really solid right off the bat. Outside Dragic. Marshall deciding where to go with it. Here's Hayes. Boy, he was something else against San Antonio. Pass to Lewis. Takes a three. And it's out of bounds. The Raptors will take it the other way. And taking a broader look here at the year-over-year -year scoring trend for Devontae Graham. And maybe it's shocking. Maybe, maybe not too shocking, but the scoring trend over the last few years has been going down a bit. I'm sure it's something he's well aware of. It. And we'll see if that continues to be the case. This chance now to bring up the rookies at the head of the class in steals this past month. You take a look at Barnes, one of the league's best third in steals. And if those numbers show us anything, it's how good he is at picking up on ball handlers' tendencies and knowing when to make his move. Jay with the ball. He had a 12-point outing in their last game against Denver. Barnes left side. And it's off the back rim. No good. The Pelicans trail. And here is Sadoransky. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Here he goes. And that's out of bounds. New Orleans will retain possession. To the wing on the left. Six to shoot. Hayes with the screen for Marshall. Puts it up from 12. Boucher with the rebound. 
And for the Raptors, they're shooting 33% here in the first quarter. And it's Barnes Ball. slamming it down. Oh, such a beautiful pass to set that one up. Yeah, the pass might have been pretty, but the finish was angry. <laughs> <laughs> now, here's Sadoransky. He averages a bit over six points a game. Hey, and there's two points. Working on the glass, paying off that time. And they've done well at taking advantage of some late defensive rotations and getting the ball in the paint. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. And what you get with Barnes, Greg, tremendous versatility. And he gets others involved, Kevin. Plays great defense. Has an excellent feel for the game. He doesn't have to score to impact winning. But if you need points from him, the young fella can provide that as well. Good from Barnes. Barnes hits them both. Pelicans trail by three. Lewis. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Knocked away. It's blocked. 58 seconds left in the first quarter of the game. Here's Barnes. It's deflected. They recover it. Agic against Lewis. Shot clock at six. Here's Barnes. Here's Achua. The dunk by Achua. Wow, and that sort of showmanship is just deflating right now to a team trying to get back into a game like this. Ouch, Greg, that is definitely an emphasis jam. A big apostrophe or exclamation point, maybe even a question mark. And that last look brought to you by the AT&T 5G Slam King. Adaransky, the pass to Lewis. Hayes dishes to Lewis. There's the drive. Tries again. He takes it up and lays it in. Well, exposing a weakness in the defense. That's just way too easy, guys. Raptors leading by three. Outside Dragic. There's the pass to Trent. Shoots over center. What a play! He simply trains it in at the buzzer. And give him credit. Good awareness of the time remaining. And to me, the way you end quarters impacts how you end the game. It can go a long way between a W or an L. And we reach the end of the first quarter. The Raptors out in front. They're up by five. And we'll get the second quarter underway on the other side of this break. told us about his attacking style of play. We try to get inside the paint and collapse the defense and then um, we spray the ball. And, um, you know, our saying is good to great. You know, sometimes you have a good shot, but if you make an extra pass, um, you're going to have a greater shot. Greg, you love that unselfish style, don't you? Yeah, he can definitely score, but you combine that with his passing and even more for the defense to worry about. And we resume our Valentine's Day broadcast. Glad to have you with us. And what do you guys think about the Raptors here so far in this one? What we saw in that first quarter, uh, they won their matchups defensively. Well, I think across the board, a number of guys have done a great job guarding multiple positions. Ingram and Williamson are the forward. Ante Graham is out there with Josh Hart. And it's Hernan Gomez in at the five, roaming the paint. That's the Pelicans' five. 
He couldn't believe how open he was. He just couldn't convert it. Ingram finds Graham. That's in for the first basket of the game after three attempts. Just good, aggressive drive from him that time. Found a hole in the D and went straight to the rim. Here's Van Vliet. Second shot opportunity. The shot by Burge, no good. Williamson, the pass to Ingram. Williamson left side. For Burge. Running Gomez kicks to Green. Floats it up for Williamson. And stolen by Siakam. A minute and a half gone here in the second quarter. Trent passes to Siakam. And he makes that one. Well, desire. Pascal Siakam has a ton of that. He's overcome so much in his life. You think a little bump in the road is going to stop him? On the sideline, let's catch up with Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Pascal Siakam was the most improved player in 2019. He says, I love that I cannot be able to do something, but if I put in a lot of hours doing it, I can become good at it. The former 27th pick overall said, not to sound arrogant, but I saw this coming. Guys, he bet on himself. He did. He was smart. He certainly put in the work. DA, thank you. And he knocks down the first one. And so many teams looking to space the floor. Greg, how many non-shooters can you play and and still have a good offense? Well, I, I think most teams go four out, meaning you got to have at least four guys that are a threat on the perimeter, keeping a vertical spacer at that dunker spot. But if your dunker can also shoot, man, that puts even more pressure on the defense. Ananobi kicks to Van Vliet. Toronto working the ball around now. Trent passes to Van Vliet. No good from outside. Boy, a forgettable night for him, but thankfully his teammates have played well overall. And Williamson throws it down. Boy, it's a joy to watch Ingram as he's developed. One of the hardest working players in the game. Now, here's Siakam. He had a 15-point outing in their last game against Denver. And guys, he was also huge on defense, turning away two shots and altering countless more. Now, here is Hernan Gomez. Following the miss by Pascal Siakam. Hernan Gomez with a screen on Ananobi. Lock at six. Here's Ingram. And it's Toronto with the rebound. Birch has got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Here's Van Vliet, and the shot is good. Van, Vliet. Van Vliet's got his second bucket tonight. Well, if you think about Fred Van Vliet's handle and his ability to operate at different speeds, you understand how effective he can be on the drive.
already a schedule. Hard to believe. Let's see how the West is matching up. You look at the Pelicans. Unless they completely melt down, they should be in good position for a playoff run. And I think for New Orleans, they had a few critics coming into the season, and now I don't think they have any. This is a club ready to not only make a deep run, but possibly win it all. Well, this is their goal. There's no doubt about that. For what many expected of them so far, they have not disappointed. Now here's Ingram. An 11-point game for him in the win against San Antonio. And we have to mention his rebound. It wasn't all about the offense. He battled his tail off down low. All that he gives them on offense, Yakim's ability, Greg, to switch defensively is key for this team. And he can legitimately stay in front of guards on the perimeter. I mean, this guy can test shots without fouling. You love the combination of focus and strong fundamentals. Here's Hernan Gomez. Following the basket by Pascal Siakam. Passes it to Ingram. Shoots over Ananobi. And again, no good by New Orleans. And if you're looking for the main reason that they're trailing in this game, look, look no further than his shooting. I mean, he has hit exactly 0% of his shots. And a moment now to check out who the Pelicans have coming up. On Tuesday, they'll be facing Stephen Adams and the Memphis Grizzlies. And then on Thursday, they'll go up against Chris Depps, Porzingis, and the Dallas Mavericks. And looking at that Lakers matchup, that's a contest that could easily go either way. Small mistakes could be the difference, and both teams will need to be at their best. And so Siakam will bring it up for Toronto. It's a three-point game. Trent finds Ananobi, and a wide-open look for Siakam. His three-pointers off the mark. I'll tell you, it has not been this guy's best night, but the teammates have been there to pick up the slack. Love it. At the heart. Fader on the way. And the Pelicans miss again. I'll tell you, this guy is doing absolutely everything he can to get himself going, but the team is struggling because he's struggling. Pass to Ananobi. He is looking for Siakam and finds him. Shoots over Graham. Shots yeah, good by Siakam. Siakam's got the lead up to five now for Toronto. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. And Williamson throws it down. Oh, what a leap by Williamson. Fearlessly rising up and slamming it down. And the Raptors call time here. In addition to going over the game plan and making whatever necessary adjustments have to be made, Greg, this time out also the time for players to get rehydrated or hydrate for the first time with some Gatorade. Plenty of basketball still to be played here, and they have to get recharged. Uh, that's a great point. Without proper hydration, a player can completely run out of gas down the stretch of a, of a game. And that's something that none of these guys can afford to have happen. If you're going to battle all the way to the finish, you've got to be hydrated. in now for the Raptors. Achua, he's checked in for Kem Birch. Chris Boucher comes in for Pascal Siakam. Barnes, he's checked in for OG Ananobi. And it's Drogic in for Trent.
Here's Dragic. Now here's Barnes. There's the pick. Six on the shot clock, and it's blocked, and they get it back. Here's Dragic. Here's Marshall. Pass to Sadaronski. Marshall with it. Who is outside? That one's good. Maybe that'll get him going after a two for six start. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. And there's the pass to Achua. Back to Van Vliet. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And along with production, this team really thrives on Van Vliet's leadership. He sets a great example with his toughness, his dedication, and his teammates believe in him and believe they're going to win, partly because of him. That free throw missing. And Doris, though he's getting the press for his scoring, and he's been prolific, Van Vliet's defense is equally as impressive. My goodness, great instincts. Rarely fooled. You can't trick him. Quick feet, strength in the post. You see guys try to take advantage of his lack of size. He won't have it. So he comes up empty, missing both. Boy, that's not the result I would have predicted. Usually you can take those to the bank when he's at the line. And fleet against Sadaransky. Here's Hayes. And the layup is good after a nice lead pass. Hayes has got his second bucket of the night. We've seen the lead change hands quite a bit in this one. And guys, I think each team knows they can win this game. Just a matter who can catch that momentum. Now here's Van Vliet. A good portion of the scoring has come from him. He averages more than 18 points a game. And he's been way off the mark this quarter. It's been ugly. Now here's Lewis following the miss by Fred Van Vliet. Lewis against Van Vliet. Lewis down low, and he makes good on the late. And it's a three-point New Orleans lead. And it's coming easy for them right now. Five baskets in a row in the paint. Lewis against Dragic to stop the run. It's rebounded by Hayes. Hayes has got his fifth rebound in this one. Lewis against Dragic. Lewis down low. Hayes finds Sadaransky. They set the pick. Here's Marshall. And no good. And it's the Raptors taking it the other way. Last time they met was in Toronto. Yeah, and in winning that last game, they attacked the basket aggressively. They drew a lot of fouls in that game. Two things are a product of that. One, you shoot a ton of freebies. Two, the other team goes deep into its rotation. Neither one of those two things is going to work. And it's in there. They are attacking the rim and getting great results. And the Raptors call time here. And no doubt, Coach wants them to shore up their interior defense. I think right now they're giving up way too many easy looks. That is a recipe for disaster.
check out some of the best shooting teams out there. Pelicans, number one. Are just tremendously disciplined offensively, always looking for the best possible shot. That's how they've gotten that field goal percentage to skyrocket. Over to the left wing. Hagic against Lewis. Boucher the screen. Down to five on the shot clock. And that's foul number two. And maybe you don't sit him at this point, but you really have to be careful to not pick up another team foul. One twenty-four left to play in the first half. Rogic a screen on Sadoransky. Van Vliet attacking. Trying to end the drought. Deflected by Sadoransky. And, and gotta like what they've been doing down low in the post. Van Vliet against Lewis. And there's the call on Precious Aju. That is his first foul of the game. His first personal foul. Second team foul. Passes to Temple. Back to Hayes. Six to shoot. Lewis with the three. It's hauled in by the Raptors. Achua's got his sixth rebound on the night. There's 37 seconds left in the first half. Van Vliet kicks to Boucher. Pass to Achua. Over Hayes. Pelicans pull it in. No matter what looks they get, they just can't convert to stop this run. And I think you can start to feel their frustration mounting. With every missed bucket, it becomes more and more desperate. Here's the floater. Lewis gets the bucket. Lewis has got the lead up to seven out for the Pelicans. Oh, well, that's a nice play. You've got to read the situation and go to your floater game when necessary. And so it's New Orleans. Break the quarter to a close with a seven-point lead. They're pounding the ball inside, and that's where they've gotten their best production tonight. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much here with Nick Nurse. Coach, the efficiency wasn't there in the first half. What adjustments do you need to make? I thought we got pretty good shots, you know, and if we're not going to score, it makes getting our defense set up difficult. So, you got to keep shooting them. Hopefully, start making some of them. Well, you can't score until you shoot, Coach. Thanks. Back to you. Thank you, David. And we'll be back for the third quarter of action following halftime. Thanks for being with us, and let's get straight into it with the Players of the Week. In the West, Donovan Mitchell. So explosive in everything he does and built to take on a leadership role. Mitchell goes through stretches where he can put the team on his back and carry them. The shot's working, the drive's working, it's all working. All right, now let's break down the first half. It's been a productive game so far for the New Orleans Pelicans. They were getting after it on the glass, like wild and They've got a nice edge in that department, which has led to this lead. They won the heart and hustle battle in that first half. Now we'll see if they can keep that going. Thanks for joining us. Now let's toss it to Kevin Harlan for the start of the second half. Hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. We're halfway through the game. And here's Pragic, our second half of basketball, and presented by Gatorade. Let's see who's all fueled up and on the floor to start the third. Setting the floor for the Raptors. The forwards are Ananobi and Siakam. And Van Vliet out there with Pragic. 
and it's Birch in at center. Ananobi, good. OG and nice Anobi. job by OG Three. Ananobi to be aggressive from distance. Pass to Hart. Inside. And it's denied. Sent back by Siakam. And there's the foul. It'll go on Josh Hart. That's his first foul. Oh, great defense. They anticipated the play and got there first. Defense doesn't get much better than the mobile one block we just saw on replay. And this is why coaches stress the importance of defense. Big block there in this close game. Raptors trail by four. And a guy who routinely outworks people. This team feeds off his energy. Well, Pascal Siakam is a guy described by his coach as a speed player. We know the pressure he puts on teams in transition. He's willing to mix it up physically and sacrifice his body in the post. And this guy will leave it all out on the floor. What a ceiling for Pascal Siakam. He gets that one. Williams, he's got 11 points. And okay, you, you won't let me get to the hole this time. Zion options for the next best thing. Siakam kicks to Dragic. The pass to Van Vliet. Now, here's Birch. Rebounded by Hart. Boy, surprise team missed that. The defense just good enough to prevent that bucket. Pass to Williamson. Aaron Gomez. Sinks that one from the post. Now it's a six-point New Orleans lead. Well, the young Spaniard, Willie, a good finisher around the rim. Siakam. And Siakam throws it down. I'll tell you, that vertical ability he has puts him in select company in NBA power forwards. May not have great size, but boy, he plays bigger than it. Raptors trail by four. In the corner, it's Van Vliet. A little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the third. Birch finds Siakam. There's a good screen. Five on the clock, and Van Vliet, here we go. Can't get it to fall. New Orleans leading by four. Now Hart, taking a look at his stats, he's averaging around seven and a half points a game. Here's Ingram, drops it in from 14 feet away. Well, obviously the defense has not been great this half, and you've got to be able to address this quickly. against Graham. Now here's Van Vliet. Pass to Birch. The Raptors need to get a shot off. Rejected by Ingram. And great use of lift by Ingram. Able to reach out and get his hand on the ball for a block. Graham kicks to Ingram. Just over three and a half minutes through the third quarter of play now. Van Vliet looking around. Down low. Bring him against Dragic. And it's good for two. Ingram's got the lead up to eight now for New Orleans. And loving when Ingram uses that limit. Down low, not settling for the jumper.
checked in for Fred Van Vliet. Already it's February. Let's see how the East is matching up. Look at Toronto. They're holding the edge for the last playoffs. I am sure they'd feel better if they could jump up a couple rankings. And for the Raptors, they haven't had the great season that some were expecting, but it hasn't been a disaster. They just need a few things to go right for them down the stretch. It's an amazing thing. If you can get a couple of wins, generate some momentum, you've got to believe they'll be just fine. Siakam outside from deep. Graham with the rebound. And they had some botched coverage that turned into no coverage. Ingram with it. Now guarded by Siakam. Takes it from 10. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Siakam. It's going to be on Siakam. A wildly move by Ingram. Able to come up with the foul and get that shot in the air. And a moment now to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from here for the Pelicans. And I like how they've taken the high percentage shot in the paint. In that first half, we saw them doing it, and they've continued to succeed as the game has worn on. And they've consistently drilled that mid-range jumper as well, and that's really opened things up for them. He misses the free throw. And this may not be the juiciest stat you'll ever get, but the development of Brandon Ingram as a free throw shooter early in his career was shocking. He hits the second from the line. Greg, as we take a look at Ingram's free throw shooting, he went from a mediocre performer at the line to almost automatic after a few years in the NBA. And Kevin, it's a testament to the work he's put in. It was an area of his game he had to develop, and he didn't ignore it. And now his aggression on the court pays off with points at the line. A good job by him on the glass here tonight. Plus eight in that department. Now the best to Hernan Gomez. Ingram outside. Just four to shoot. Into the lane. A chance to extend the lead to double digits, but it's no good. And it's Trent in the corner. They could use a bucket. And he lays it up and in. Trent Jr. Trent's got his second basket of the night. Nice job creating for the easy deuce. Timeout called here. The Pelicans decide to talk it over. He's checked in for Hernan Gomez. Marshall comes in for Zion Williamson. And Garrett Temple subbed in for Hart. Then for the Raptors, Achua. He's checked in for Kem Birch. And it's Barnes in for OG Ananobi. Right 
wing. Ingram outside. That one doesn't go. Good D by Barnes. Fred passes to Siakam. Passes it to Achua. From the arc. And Siakam is good for three. And now just a four-point Pelican lead. Graham, the pass to Hayes. Ingram against Barnes. Hayes with the screen for Ingram. Toronto grabs the miss. Siakam's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Trent passes to Achua. Basket counts. Achua's got six points. That's the kind of aggressive and assertive play they need as we get closer and closer to crunch time. Three-pointer, Graham. It's all in by Achua. Achua's got his seventh rebound here tonight. It's deflected. Graham with the ball. Now guarded by Siakam. Here's Marshall. It's deflected. Here's Trent. And no good. Had a chance to take the lead there. You will not see this guy miss many of those. He's one of the keys to their floor spacing. Graham dishes to Hayes. New Orleans moving the ball around. Marshall passes to Ingram. Just five on the clock. Over Barnes. He climbs that one off the back iron. And down it falls. Ingram's got seven points here in this quarter. Graham against Dragic. It's blocked. Here's Temple, defended by Trent. And Temple kicks to Hayes. Ingram deciding where to go with it. Going inside. Siakam pulls it in. Siakam's got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. And he stays with it. The ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Siakam. And a chance to check out the stats for Barnes. This past month, he's really set himself apart. Averaging 15 points a game, seven rebounds, and four assists. Uh, he's been nothing short of fantastic during that stretch. Offense coming very easily for him. And so much of it to me is his ability to read the floor, make the right decision, and then go right after the action he wants. Saturansky comes in for Marshall. And Lewis subbed in for Devontae Green. And the Raptors also making a change. Chris Boucher is checked in for Pascal Siakam.
Igor Sadoransky. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. And Hayes kicks to Sadoransky. And Gary Trent gets the whistle that time. And that's his first foul. You know what? Trying to step in and cut him off, but just didn't get there quick enough. Here's Lewis. He's got 10. Two minutes remaining in the third. Two. And he drives in. Rejected by Dragic. Barnes outside. Pass to Trent. To the left wing. Five to shoot. Second chance shot. That one misses. And it's the Pelicans taking it the other way. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. Next up on the schedule, the Grizzlies. That'll be a home game. Now here's Ingram. He's got nine. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. That's on Gordon Dragic. And you know what? You allow a guy to get right to the rim like that. That's your only option. Pelicans shooting their sixth and seventh free throw attempts tonight. Yeah, pretty good numbers on the season when you look at their free throw attempts right around 78%. And the first one at the line is good. Fred Van Vliet is checked in for Toronto. No good on the second free throw. And so Van Vliet will bring it up for the Toronto Raptors. Trailing by five. Pass to Barnes. And he gets the bucket. Barnes has got six points. Well, that's not the guy you want guarding him at the rim. Just too much of a differential in terms of size. Sadoransky finds Ingram. Hayes with the screen for Ingram. Let's it go from 11. It's hauled in by Achua. The defense not a factor there. Very surprising he couldn't capitalize. To the middle. A dunk by Achua. Achua. Well, what he lacks in size for a typical center, he makes up for with all that athleticism. Boy, can he elevate. The pass to Hayes. 27 seconds left to play in the third. Hayes with the screen for Lewis. He lobs it up. Cloak loose. Passes it to Temple. Let's the three fly. And they turn over the 24 second buzzer, signaling the shot clock violation. Boy, that's the last thing they need. This game too close to be making those kinds of errors. Barnes looking around. For the lead. The shot comes out. Three quarters of play in a close game here. Pelicans lead by one. And do not go away as we'll be back in just a few moments with the start of our fourth quarter coming up next. chance now folks let's go to our state farm assist of the game and, and i'm glad this was the pick because i love this pass such a great dish that's what i call court vision well making the game easy for your teammates all about putting them in a position to score that's pretty and i know i speak for all of us when i say i can't wait to see what kind of finish awaits us here in the fourth quarter josh hart out there with williamson 
Then there's Hernan Gomez. Then there's Devontae Green. And it's Zadaransky in at the shooting guard position. So that's the group out there for New Orleans. And Boucher sends it back. Van Vliet outside. Takes it inside. No luck that time on the shot that would have put them on top. Hart with it. Over Birch. And the Pelicans miss again. And here is Ananobi. He feeds it to Barnes. Pass to Birch. Ananobi against Graham. And the shot will not go from Ananobi. For New Orleans, they've gone 0-3 to start the fourth quarter. Graham, the pass to Sadaransky. Shot clock at six. Pass to Hernan Gomez. Three-pointer, Graham. Rebound by the Raptors. Birch has got 10 rebounds here tonight. So active. I'll tell you, even though he's not playing his best basketball, the team has played well and picked it up. I love it. And the dunk by Barnes. There is just no way to tell who is going to pull this one out. When you've had this many lead changes, you're looking to see which one of those plays is going to be a momentum swing. Now here's Graham. Hernan Gomez passes to Graham. To the right side. Zadaransky looking around. Bounce it up for Williamson. Out of bounds, Pelicans ball as New Orleans keeps possession. Siakam is checked in for Toronto. The Rogic comes in for Barnes. Goran Dragic. Hernan Gomez kicks to Hart. Hernan Gomez with a screen on Dragic. Just five to shoot. Graham, the pass to Hernan Gomez. And it's denied by Ananobi. OG Ananobi is fast off his feet. Seven foot two wingspan says twice on the pipes. Raptors with the lead. Van Vliet outside. Outside Dragic. Looking to end his cold spell. No good off the back of the rim. And the rebound battle split evenly thus far. Driving inside. And the pass to Hart. Good D by Siakam. The defense ready for him on that possession. They had to be because he is so strong in the paint. Gets the three-pointer to fall. And the Raptors lead by four. After hitting nothing from downtown in the first half, that's his second make sense.
in a switch here. Ingram's checked in. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Thanks, guys. I was able to hear New Orleans' coach going over their plan during the break. He talked about X's and O's, but he also said, hey, guys, we got to trust each other, stick together, and leave it all out on the floor. We'll see if they've got enough left to get over the top, Kevin. Thank you, David. And the Pelicans with possession here. Nothing doing offensively yet for them in the fourth. Bring him against Dragic. That's tipped. Ingram against Ananobi. For three. Good, and Van Vliet gets the assist. Van Vliet's got his fourth assist in this one. And we'll get a look at how the Hustle game has been going for the Raptors. Their defense has been outstanding, closing out on shots and blocking a few as well. They've gotten out on the break over and over tonight as well. A lot of baskets coming in transition. Down the clock, Ingram kicks to Hart. Juan Gomez trying to break free. And he can't stop this crowd. Another miss. Siakam looking around. Off the mark with the outside fadeaway. No one near him on that one. And I'm not sure why he felt like he needed to fade away. To the wing right side. Some nice passing here by New Orleans. Hernan Gomez with a screen for Graham. Back to Hernan Gomez. Poked away. And they recover it. In the offensive rebounding, really the story here today. Even with the big lead, they're still showing more hustle on the board. Toronto leading by seven. To the paint, here's Birch. And down it goes. Dunk threw off a wonderful assist. And how about the court awareness there? Dragic, fantastic job spotting the wide open teammate. Van Vliet against Ingram. Van Vliet passes to Dragic. Out left to the wing. Ananobi has the open look. And that's good. And it's Dragic with the assist. Dragic has got three assists tonight. Pelicans trail by 12. Now Graham. Williamson with a screen for Graham. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Javante Green. That's foul number two for him. Yeah, way to get there first and be willing to absorb the contact. Bring him against Dragic. With the drive. Here's Perch. Herman Gomez grabs the miss. I think Gomez has got rebound number 12 here already in the game. Nice pass. Led him to the rack perfectly for the layup. And with that basket, he puts a stop to the 13-0 run there by Toronto. Siakam finds Dragic. Trying to break that ice cold streak. Rejected by Ingram. This is it to Graham. Williamson is screen on Dragic. Graham, the pass to Williamson. And the jump by Williamson. Difficult to guard in pick and roll. Zion's combination of mobility and quickness, along with that strength, just so lethal. Now here's Van Vliet. Pass to Dragic. They set the screen. Pocket six. It's rebounded by New Orleans. Graham surveying the floor. Pass to Hart. Williamson in the post. Covered by Siakam. And it's Williamson missing. And so Siakam will bring it up for the Toronto Raptors. 
here in the fourth. They've allowed just four points. Here's Graham. Plays it up and banks it in. Hey guys, all about hard work from this point on. They've worked hard to create that high-quality shot and then able to knock the ball out. Toronto calls timeout. Yeah, things not going their way, and he wants to just try to talk this one over. Well, night in and night out, sometimes it's a battle of runs. Who has the most? the pass to Dragic. Van Vliet outside. And the call will be against Hernan Gomez. Billy that is his first Gomez. foul of the game. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. Here's Siakam. And it's blocked. Oh, that is a terrific effort by Willie, doing his best to become a better rim protector. Loads it up for Williamson. Throws down the alley and slams. And yeah, he, he's 280 pounds. We've never seen anyone hang in the air like this young man. Williamson is special. Oh, here's Van Two Vliet. The kick out to Dragic. Two minutes. The pass to Siakam. Shot clock at five. To the wing on the left. Out of bounds. New Orleans will take possession. That is just a careless turnover. You've got to be smarter in those exchanges. Pelicans trail by six. Graham from outside. And it's Toronto with the rebound. Birch has got 13 rebounds in the game. Seated. They get it back. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Now Pascal Siakam looking aggressive and determined, which forces the defender to commit the foul. Pascal Siakam taking two shots. Two. He drops the first one, and that makes it a seven-point lead. 
I think what's probably surprised me the most about Pascal Siakam is how prepared he is to be the primary scorer for an excellent team in the NBA. This guy has shown no hesitation. And so both free throws are good. And it's an eight-point game. There's a minute 34 left in the fourth quarter. Feeds it to Williamson. And stolen by Siakam. Passes to Van Vliet. Back to Siakam. Hagic against Graham. No good from Trogic. I don't know if he's tired or what, but he is definitely holding back a little bit, and he has to step his game up right now. Hart finds Graham. Down low. And it's Williamson missing. And so Van Fleet will bring it up for the Raptors. They've held a 12-point lead early. Graham against Dragic. Five to shoot. Here's Birch. That's good. Basket number five on a five for eight night shooting. Spirited performance. You love to get this kind of win, especially on the road. You've got to be able to block out all distractions in enemy territory. This team did a tremendous job staying focused on the task at hand. There's Van Vliet. Shot clock and game clock separated by less than six seconds. Pass to Dragic. Back to Van Vliet. They set the pick. Just five to shoot. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Well, Fred Van Vliet is such a crafty basketball player. At that size, you'd have to be. Nice job drawing the contact the there. The Fred Van Vliet at the line for two. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Gets the first, and that will put them up by nine. Uh, just for this trip to the line, I'll call him by his full name. Frederick Edmund Van Vliet Sr. Had to get that in there. Now we can just go back to Freddie V. So he gets them both. 
That's what you call slamming the door. This one is over. From deep three-point range. And so Toronto takes this one, but by a big margin. This was a very strong showing for him, Greg. Not necessarily a runaway win, but one they'll feel very good about. And let's face it, any time you can go on the road and win in the fashion they did, you have to feel good about it. it really an outstanding effort all the way around. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks very much, Pascal. You've been getting stops, getting out and running. What is working defensively? Our energy. Our energy was, was where we, we wanted to be. And that's how we got to play every single night. We can't come in and, and not play that way because that's the way we play. So we got to play like that every single night. And it starts with me. You know, like I have to bring my team to that energy level every single night. And, you know, I'm going to try my best to do that. It was successful tonight, man. Congratulations on a big win. Back to you. All right, David. Great job. Thanks so much. And that about wraps it up for Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge. This is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. Now, let's check out our New Balance player of the game, Pascal Siakam.